To help you achieve the best results from the lessons on Frank's YouTube channel, Frank has developed a range of quality products, including the watercolor brush set, which has the one and a half and three quarter inch goat ears and the number three rigger. Frank has also developed his own range of artist quality watercolor paints. These paints come in 12 mil tubes and are the eight colors Frank uses himself in his video tutorials. These products and many more can be viewed in detail at Frank's art store at simplypainting.com. If you prefer to order by phone, please use the following numbers. We ship worldwide. Hello there, I'm Frank Clark and I'd like to take you on a mystic painting journey to an enchanted island and we're going to have some more fun. Welcome to Simply Painting. Well, we're in the Canary Islands. This is Lanzarote, and I'm standing in a cactus garden. And this garden contains over 1,000 different types of cacti. And they're quite amazing things. They, seem, they don't need water, so of course they, they can grow in Lanzarote because there is very little water on this island. No natural water at all. And the other thing about it is that they're set in pecan dust. You probably see this black sort of stuff all around them. Well, the great thing about this is that you notice there's no weeds. And what happens at night here is that the water is soaked out of the atmosphere into the pecan dust, and that gives the cactus just enough to survive on. Anyway, let's go round this garden and have a look at some of the different types of cacti, and then we might head off and find something to paint. Well, hello there. And you know, that cactus garden was something. Yeah, man-made as well. You got all these cactus together and put them in the one area. And one of the things I noticed when walking around it was the flowers on the cactus. I never knew there were so many blossoms. So I thought, why don't we paint a flower? And that's what we're gonna do. And we're gonna do it a bit differently. So before we say that to you, let's run through the materials we're gonna to need to paint it. And then you'll find out what I'm talking about. First of all, the colors. We have five colors and they are ultramarine blue, lemon yellow, raw sienna, burnt umber, and hooker's green. We have the white gouache, which is gonna be very useful this time. We have got three brushes this time. The first one is the baby goat hair, which is the three quarter inch baby goat hair. We have a half inch nylon, half inch. And then we have the rigger, which is the very small brush. Those are the three brushes we need. We have a tray to put our paints out on as usual. We got some water, we got some cloths. And this time we have a piece of black paper and it is measuring 11 by eight. It can be any size you like, but that's what I'm using. And it's in portrait, upright. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna paint a flower on some black paper. When you see, you're gonna amaze your friends when you do this, I promise you. So let's put out some paper. I can't wait to get at this. This is a fantastic thing. I started doing these and then everybody was rushing into me. Frank, can you do one of those for me? Can you do one of those for me? So then I thought, hey, this must be an idea. So I thought we'd show you, why not? Now I'm putting out some lemon yellow, some raw sienna, 
some hooker's green, some blue. I'm going to put them all out here. Look, I put the blue over there because I'm going to right over in that corner. Now, if everything out except the burnt umber, so yeah, go on, poor burnt umber. Let's not be mean. Put it out as well. So they're all out there. Now, I'm going to take the half inch nylon brush. Stick it in the water. Get some of the yellow. Oh, I tell you what, before I go any further, I've forgotten my most important ingredients, my white gouache. Because, of course, if you're painting on black, you've got to make sure that you can see it. So we may have to add some white. So I take some of the lemon yellow, the raw sienna, and some of the white gouache, put those three together with a little green. We're going to put some stalks in. And off we go. Now look, we're building the skeleton of the picture first. Up we go. Sideways movement. And then back in again. Now this is, you've got to be a little bit slower with this when you're putting on the stalks because the brush is inclined to stick a little bit to the paper, like oils, not unlike it indeed. So be patient. Be patient. This one goes off up there. Look right up to the top and go on there. Ding. Now I'll put another one. Let's see. Put another one about there somewhere. We want to, want to make it go out a bit that way. You can take your time with this. You got oh, this is the this is the foundation of where you want to put. Always put your stalks in first. You got that. And then I think I got. I think I'm going to put one more in. Mm -hmm. I'm just tipping the water with the tip of the brush. And then I'm going to put that, let's see, that one there, and one here. Let's see. And then there's someone, one of them. I'm making them all go all over. That's it, I'm getting happy with this now. Take your time with this, you've got pucks of time. This is a quickie. You know, this is great for gift cards and that sort of thing. You can send your friends. You could sit in the evening time when somebody's having a birthday or, no, oh, it doesn't matter. Send them a bunch of flowers. You said, I'm going to, I couldn't afford to buy you some flowers, so I'm going to send you a picture of some flowers. All right, that's the first bit. Now, back to my baby goat hair brush. And the reason is that you'll notice that there are definite strokes that that nylon brush made. This will do other types of thing for you. Now watch. Again, it's into the yellow, the raw sienna, and the green, mix the three together, we get a nice green. And now, this is the bit, this is the bit I like, I like this, look. Dab, 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 dab. Are you watching the brush? Look at it. Yes, see, look at that, all over the place. Now, what's happening is the tip of the brush, see the tip of the brush there, can you see that brush? Look at it, it's all broken. You see, that's the difference with this fella. Now I'm going the other side. And this side here will be brighter because I'm trying to make this, this is, this is the light side of the picture. A little more green there. He didn't be too particular with this. Now that's about it. I'm going to give that a little dry now. And as I'm doing that, I'd like you to off you go and visit a cactus farm. <laughs> Well, I'm standing here rather carefully in the middle of a cactus field. And one of the main crops of Lanzarote is in fact cactus. Now you might say to me, what on earth does anybody want with all these prickly things? Oh, not so. A Couple of very valuable things come from cactus. First of all, these are called the prickly pear cactus. And as it suggests, there's a fruit which you can actually take the prickles off and you can eat it and it's very nice. But there's a much more important one and it's the cochineal beetle. Now this beetle lives on the leaf of the cacti. And what they do is they lay their eggs, the lava, on the leaf here. And then the farmers come along and they scrape this off, they harvest it. And what do they do with it then? Well, they mash it up and it turns into a wonderful purple dye. Now they use this for one for Persian carpets, they use that dye. Also for food dyes, they use little bottles of cochineal, you can get it in any supermarket. 
But there's a much more important one, girls. It's to do with your good selves. They also make lipstick from the cochineal beetle lava. I crush it up, so what you do then is you put it all over your faces, don't you? Ah, <laughs> yes. And then the lads come along and the boyfriend of the evening will give you a little peck on the lips. And of course, he's kissing a crushed beetle. Isn't that nice? Anyway, it's now time for us to get back to our painting. There we are, we'll give it a nice try. Well, girls, I bet you're all licking your lips now, saying to yourselves, well, 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 isn't that nice? I have crushed beetles all over my face. <laughs> ah, no, well, never mind. Now, I'm going to have to use a different kind of brush. <laughs> this is called a towel brush. And you'll find it in any kitchen. All it is is a piece of kitchen towel. And what I'm going to do is, with the ultramarine blue, I am going to stick the top of this paper into it, right? Fold it up like a kind of a circle. And then, off I go. Dabby, dabby, dab, 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 dab. You can kind of sing to it. And what I'm creating is hopefully some nice blue lilac. Take your time. Just take your time with this. It won't go anywhere until you put it there, if you like it. And just look, it's a downward, just stippling it down onto the paper like that. Go right up now. You come out a bit there and out a bit there. So go right up to a kind of a point up the top there. Now, we'll change the colour of that. Don't you worry. You're probably saying, it's a bit blue. It's a bit this, it's a bit that. There's one side. Now we go off over the other side. Get some blue again. And there's another stalk of it up here. See? See, it's the paper. Look, paper does it. Now, at any time, you can cut the top off it and start again if it gets too caked with... or if you wanted to change colour or something like that. Are you enjoying this? This is easy. This is simple. Anybody can do it. Anybody can paint, you know. You do know that, of course. Of course you know it. You don't... I'm tired of telling people, you know, when we have classes, I usually don't let anybody paint for about the first hour. And do you know what? Well, almost an hour. Do you know why? Because you have to convince them first that they can actually do it. Because they've been told for years and years and years, oh, I haven't, you haven't got the gift, Bridget, you know, if only you have. And then you meet somebody else who says, I'm starting to paint. They say, aren't you so lucky? Have that gift. <gasps> I wish I could do that. And you know, the thing is, all you can do is pick a paintbrush up and you're off. Now, I'm just coming out a bit more. I'm just shaping it, making a bit of a shape of the whole thing, yeah. Now, I'll put that down there. I'll finish it off in a minute, but I've got to do something else now. I'm going to get my rigger brush, because I want to put in some nice stalks up here. Watch this. This stalk here, I want it to come up a bit like that, and then I'm going to do this and this and that. These are coming out, see? And then there's some down there. I'm just kind of all the time finishing the job. I'm not... Now you can... You know, I wish I had a piece of black paper, but you can do this on ordinary white paper. Oh, absolutely. I mean, I painted it in watercolour paper. I've tried this on all kinds of things. And it's not messy because, of course, you're using watercolours, you see. So in the school, you can go, you can get teacher, and you can say, teacher, I'm going to paint you a flower. And teachers are not going to say to you, oh, no, you're not bringing that stuff in here. We've had trouble with, with this is, this is watercolour. Now, look, at I'm just going down the front of the stock because that's where my light source is coming from. So I'm just putting a bit of life into these things. See? That went down a bit longer. This is just a, a bunch of these things like that. I slowly begin to take shape. Yes, isn't it? Oh, yes. I'm going to do a little more here. I'm just over here. I like to just put some odd leaves in. This is with just the yellow. See? And then a little few here, because in the middle, that's where some of the colour needs to be as well. The light's coming over this way, as you'll see in a minute. Oh, I like this. I love doing these flowers. You know, I was not one who liked flowers, I have to tell you. 
I felt they were kind of a bit tedious, you know, they were, yeah, they'd probably take a half an hour to paint them. This way, bang, you're there. <laughs> okay, let me give that a little dry now, and it's almost time for you to go away again on another little walk around, so off you go. Well, here in the centre of the Cactus Park is a monument which is dedicated to how the people made water, fresh water, in Lanzarote. It was uh, designed by the artist Cesar Manrique as he did this whole park, but uh, let me tell you the story. What you have here is, I know it's a face, but in most homes they had a stone with a hole in it, and this green plant here would be in the stone and then they take some of the water from the sump that could well be stagnant and they pour it into the top and it filters down through and dribbles out the bottom into a cup or a container and that was their fresh water. Was that interesting? Well, there I am, back again, yes, and you're back from the dry island. Yes, indeed. Amazing how they did that, but that is actually beautifully pure water. But I don't know whether I could handle that now. It you know, wouldn't be that much of it arriving. Now, I'm going to reshape this a bit more, but, but the Lanzarotians have survived like that for centuries. Now, I'm delighted to tell you that Lanzarote has an enormous desalinization plant. You know what that is? They put seawater in one side of it and out the other end, fresh water. I've drank it. It's amazing. But it's an expensive means of extracting water, I think, from the sea. But if any, they do that, they have them in, in the Middle East, don't they? Oh, I think so, yeah. Now, I think I have enough of this cardiology now. And, uh, now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put something up here. Watch me. I need a smaller brush. <laughs> so this is it. Yeah, just fold up another piece of that uh, kitchen paper. Don't use soft tissue paper because it'll stick to it. You see, there's more than one way always to do things. It'll actually stick to the, uh, it'll stick to the paper and you'll end up with bits of paper all over your paper. This is ideal. Now, let's see if we get a nearer corn here. I'm going right up along. Oh, I think I'm nearly right there. And then on the bright side of it, always look on the bright side of life, isn't that it? Yeah, hmm. I'm just going to squeeze out some more of this white here. Because I'm going to, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put a little bit of lighter shade over this side here. Mm-hmm. And then dab it on. Oh, look, it's coming life now. It's beginning to come to life, isn't it? Yes, it is. Now I'm going to take the small brush back again because I want to make sure that that's absolutely straight, that that stalk comes down out of it. Um, and it needs to be a bit stronger, doesn't it? So that comes down like that. And then we put in a few more. This here, let's see, it goes up like that. Oh, yeah. They're just little pieces each side. They kind of guard it, don't they? Yeah. And then that stalk has to come down here. So we better make sure that we follow that one down. Where? Which one is it? It's this one here, isn't it? It should be the same kind of color at the bottom as that's that. Now, back to our other brush again. I'm going to mix up some of this now. Now what I'm doing now is I'm taking some of the blue and lots of white. Take your time with this because the only way you can go wrong with this picture is if you go at it too quickly and you make a mess of it, well then you'll be, I mean if you dip it in 
outside of the area where you want to paint. Hey, I got a tip for you. Did you ever find yourself at home, Saturday night, you're going out, either you're going to somebody's house or you're going into a dance or something, you can't find the shoe polish. You know that one? Yeah, yeah, I've done it. You know what you do? Find a banana. Then you eat the banana and you take the banana skin and you turn it inside out. Now, not the, so the, the white part, like, not the, the, the outside skin, and you rub it all over your shoe. And then you buff it up. And what have you got? Absolutely beautiful shine. There you go, free polish, provided you have a banana. But still, I thought it was quite interesting. Yeah? Now look, I'm, what I'm doing is, I'm going up along here, I'm actually creating bright areas. Do you see it? See? Now it's coming to life, isn't it? See, I didn't do that till the end, you see. Don't do this bit till the end of your picture. Never put your highlights in till last. Look at that, up we go, we keep going. And then a little bit, yes. And we're a little bit out there. Now you can kind of look back, squint your eyes up and see, is there enough light hitting it, bang, that way, or do I need to put some more on it? That's up to you. I'm quite happy with that. Just one, as they say, I'm very happy with that. And with that, he dives straight back in again and starts fiddling around with it. Now I'm going to do this one here. Okay. Do you know that, uh, girls, you blink more often than men? It's probably like that. You, you do this, don't you, with the eyelashes going. Yeah. But you do, yeah. About twice as fast. Or twice as often, shall I say. Hmm. Don't know why I told you that. It's probably very important here, this blinking. So, oh. Now you see the light is coming around the back of it. You see what I'm doing now? So by taking just that little time. Now, when you get fast at these, you can actually paint 10 of these <laughs> in an hour. But when you begin, just take a little bit easy. Go, don't go mad at it. Do what I'm doing here, because it makes a much nicer job of it. Now you see I've divided the two. See where they are now? Is that better, isn't it? Yeah. And another little bit here, because that is good highlighting there. I, you know, when I started doing this, I was just so excited. I couldn't believe it. I went across to all my neighbours and I brought all the kids over, brought them all into my home, and I said, Ma, let's paint flowers. And this is only one of hundreds of different flowers. You don't have to do lilac all the time. It can be anything. I mean, please yourself. <laughs> now, let's put that down there for a minute. And now let me get up my small brush again. I'm going to put in some little highlights on the front of the thing here. And then we'll show you what it all... Oops, some no yellow. Look, put out some more yellow. Yeah, there you go. Clean the brush, clean the brush. You know, you see me doing this. Can you imagine there was a guy in Northern Europe one time that he decided he wanted to paint a small picture, the smallest picture he could find. So what he did was he found the smallest picture he could get, and then he got out a grain of rice, and off he went, and he actually painted a landscape all over it. Houses, everything on it, on a grain, of the top of a grain of rice. I don't know what for, but it's, could you imagine it? Anyway, it's a piece of useless information for you that you might like to. Now, look, I'm just dabbing in some nice colour there just to get a bit of brightness. Now, remember, I've left that side much darker because that's what you need, yeah. I may put just a couple of little dabs over there. Oh, that's a bit too dark. I'm nearly finished this thing now. Yeah, probably. Why don't I do two things? One is, now don't laugh, Joe the bird. Now he's not too bright. <laughs> I put him in green, but I put him in everywhere. Me poor pal, I couldn't do without him. And then we get some of the white paint. One more little squirt. And this time we're gonna sign the picture. And we're gonna sign it with the brush because we need to do it in white, otherwise you won't see it. Here's a tip for you now when you're doing flowers. Nice and inky paint. Roll the brush, roll the brush, and then always go pretty well up the paper. Don't do it down the bottom, it looks awful. Okay. Ah, it's almost sad to come to the end of this thing, but here we got a little mount, a little piece of paper we put around it, just to show you what it looked like when it is in a frame. Well, that's all for this program. 
But if you want any further information on this program or any of my programs in the series or any of my series, please visit my website, simplypainting.com. And remember, have some more fun. To help you achieve the best results from the lessons on Frank's YouTube channel, Frank has developed a range of quality products including the watercolour brush set which has the one and a half and three quarter inch goat ears and the number three rigger. Frank has also developed his own range of artist quality watercolour paints. These paints come in 12 mil tubes and are the eight colours Frank uses himself in his video tutorials. These products and many more can be viewed in detail at Frank's art store at simplypainting.com. If you prefer to order by phone, please use the following numbers. We ship worldwide.